I'm Alex, if you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. Today we're in New York. Um, we're here specifically to see Dear Evan Hansen this afternoon. We got some last minute tickets a couple days ago. It's really exciting, but figured while we're here, do a couple of other things too. Um, so I think we're gonna go to the Disney store, we get lunch, and then there's a cookie from our favorite cookie place that we really want to try. So. Welcome to the weekend vlog. We're starting it in New York. It's gonna be a good one. We're headed up to Times Square. It's like fully under construction going in. This makes it super underwhelming. If it's your first time in New York City, I'm sorry that this is how you're experiencing it. We're in Times Square. They have the big phantom mask that says no sitting and people are sitting on it anyways. Lovely, beautiful, but here it is. The beautiful New York. There's the ball for this year. Jesus can help you, did you know? Okay. See you at the Disney store. We made it. But there is a line to get in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can wait. I'm sure it's for Halloween merch, but I don't know. The line was too long, so we decided to do some touristy things in Times Square. So we're starting at the Hershey's chocolate store. Yeah, I have one of these in my office for us to eat, one of the blueberry ones. They basically just have a lot of candy and like Hershey's merch, but there's some exclusive ice cream bars. What are these? Birthday cake. You want a Hershey's birthday cake bar? White cream with rainbow sprinkles? That looks interesting. There's also cookies and there's cookies and mint too. These all look really good, honestly. We did not do this, but they have stuff here on Reese's Cup here. Thank you so much. So cool. And free chocolate as we walk out. We did come into the M&M store, but there were far too many people and it was far too overwhelming. So no vlog, sorry. There are all these little like pop-up shops in Times Square. Right now. There's a little smoothie place that looks so good. What? Hey, there's gelato on the other side. Yeah. These are fun bags. <laughs> New York souvenirs take up most of it, of course. What else is new? I don't trust that place. They have this tree sculpture thing out here for the American Manifest. It's super interesting. Um, Google it or pause that if you want to read more about it. But we are heading over to Music Box Theater now. They open the doors in 10 minutes for the show. So. It's 1.15. The line to get the theater is pretty long. So we decided to come and marry out Marquis for a minute. Uh, the weather is actually beautiful today. I think it's like 75 to 80 degrees. Okay, I have no idea what happened in the last clip or where it ended or anything, but it's a gorgeous day outside. We're sitting in Marriott Marquis. Scott's in the bathroom right now, and I am just sitting here about to read. I'm reading Verity by Colleen Hoover right now, so I'm just going to do this. We're in line now, waiting to go in. They're scaffolding, of course, which ruins it, but you know, that's fine. I'm so excited. We had tickets to see this in March of 2020, or sorry, May of 2020, which obviously got canceled because of COVID. So, finally seeing it now, now that it closes in six weeks. I guess it's down to uh, four weeks that it closes now. I don't know, it's getting close. Okay, we made it. We're super close to the stage. These are our seats. We're literally in row D is great. Got our little playbills and the kid who plays Dustin from Stranger Things was supposed to be in this now which is super cool. I had no idea. I came downstairs where the merch and like the bar are and had to get myself a Dear Evan Hansen cup obviously it just has Diet Pepsi and they also had a special like Shuber Organization water which is super cool. Never seen these. Connor. 
There is now a huge crowd of people following Gaten, but while we are technically walking in that direction, we are not following him. We are going to get cookies at Schmackery's, which is a post-Broadway show tradition at this point, so. Been standing at Schmack's for a while. It has a line as it deserves. It didn't for a while, and I was like, people are sleeping on this, and they need to stop, but there's a line today, so it's good. Also, this is so funny. <laughs> I'm trying to take a picture in front of it, but I look terrible, so it's fine. We made it inside. These are the flavors of the day, but we're here for this blueberry cobbler. Everything here, though, is delicious. Especially the funfetti, we love those. But I think my favorite is probably the... <laughs> they have like a Dolce de Leche one that's really good. I like that one a lot. We have our cookies, we'll try them soon. But round two of trying to go to the Disney store. There's no line this time. Hopefully we're good. The lanterns are always my favorite part. I'm going to the Disney store, other than the castle, of course. The castle in here is just as good. But Tangle gets more love in the Disney store than it does in the parks. What is this BS? What? Why does Tangled get more love in this New York Disney store than it does in the entirety of the parks? This is based on a story that's already been told. I guess. But like Cinderella gets a whole castle. Where's Rapunzel's? She gets a little tower. <laughs> that's so rude to her. I mostly wanted to come in here to see if they have any of the Halloween merch, but if they have any of it, it's going to be downstairs, and they were directing everybody upstairs for now, so we'll see. This chip bubble blower is the cutest thing on earth. I'm obsessed. Why have I never seen that? Also, the Cars one? What the? This must just be a light up one, though. There's no way that blows bubbles. There's 50th merch here that I haven't it's seen. Oh yeah, Scott just messed this one up, but literally all this has is Walt Disney World 50 on the top. And other than that, it's just a plain beige t-shirt. They have a little 50th umbrella, which haven't seen. This little bow, haven't seen. These little vinyl nation things, haven't seen. Why do they have so much extra stuff here? I like this Main Street Electrical Parade uh, crew neck. Definitely don't need it. I like these shorts a lot too. Managed to leave the Disney store empty handed. I genuinely don't remember the last time I could say that. So, proud of myself there. So that's good. We're going to Sweet Green now, right? Yeah. Heading to Sweet Green so I can bring a salad home, have something a little healthier that tastes very yummy. closed so we got dollar slices instead. Yay. This pizza is good. The yours is better. We are back at Port Authority, although I guess I didn't film here at all this morning. Um, we took the bus in, so we came back to take the bus home. Unfortunately, we are going to eat the cookies, or try the cookies, whatever, and I'll tell you how the show was when we get home. Okay, we're back from the show. We have our schmackeries. We're not gonna try the funfetti because honestly we have those a lot. But we are gonna try this blueberry cobbler cookie. That looks pretty good. There we go. That's kind of a bready consistency. It's like blueberry muffin mix that they put into a cookie, basically. Yeah. It has like a lemon icing, that's really good. Okay, what do you think of the show? That was pretty good. I didn't think it was 
I don't know. I thought it was really good. I think it was amazing. Not that it was like bad, but I didn't think it. I don't know. I mean, to me, there's just like better stuff on Broadway. Yeah, I thought it was good. I'm glad we saw it. It's not something I ever feel the need to see again. Um, it was cool getting to see Gaten Matarazzo in it. Um, he was literally like, I don't know, five or ten feet from us. He was super close, which was cool. He like ran out <laughs> of the theater after when everybody was like stage dooring trying to meet him. But obviously you got to eat before the next show. But New York was good. Devin Hansen was good. If you get yeah. a chance to go see it before it closes and you haven't yet, you should. Um, but if you don't get to see it, watch the movie. <laughs> Any other words of some wisdom? I don't know. I mean, I thought the acting was good. I don't want to seem like I didn't like it because I did enjoy it. It's just, I don't know. Was it, that, that just wasn't my favorite. Yeah. The other musicals we've seen this year are like Lion King and Wicked and just like really big, extravagant, over-the-top things. So this was just like not that, but it was still good. Yeah. 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 We're on our Sunday morning walk overlooking the city. This trail is so nice. We love it. Donald Duck came to visit. Sorry you're in this gross water, dude. We are sitting in the parking lot of Costco. Just got my Panera free drink. If you haven't watched any of my vlogs lately, that's my new thing. Um, but we are at Costco. Um, I have never been to Costco before. Have you ever been to Costco before? When I was too young to remember. We are BJ's wholesale club of people through and through. Um, so we bought a membership this morning. We're gonna see what Costco's all about. Maybe we'll do a haul after. Going in. We finished shopping. I got a churro. Scott got a hot dog. We are eating our snacks and um, congratulating ourselves for getting things that we maybe didn't need and spending almost $200 at Costco today. Yay. We're at BJ's now for the couple of things we've been missing and I was put on coupon duty, so I'm waiting to get a coupon book and then going through to see if there's anything we want. Last leg of our grocery shopping to shop right. <laughs> okay, here's the quick Costco haul. So we got some mozzarella string cheese. We got a big thing of chicken. These big things of ground beef. And then I got a Caesar salad. And then we got a pack of the Angus Chuck burgers. We got this two pack of French bread. We got these grapes. There's a thing of like fish tabs, a watermelon, which is huge. My favorite thing that we got is a passion orange guava juice. Um, I worked at the Polynesian and I worked at Disney. I love Pog more than anything. I was so happy when I saw this. And then we got these mini like wafer snack things. I got these chocolate French crepes to bring to work with me uh, for breakfast in the morning. A thing of Kaiser rolls. And then from BJ's, oh, also we got this thing of hot dogs. And then from BJ's, um, we just got a thing of Bisquick and they were doing a thing that if you bought this, you got free bananas. So we got bananas and we got dental flossers, but I don't know where they are.